Hello folks, how's it going today? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back at the counter again. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, more exciting automotive adventures. Yeah, another week. Um, we haven't posted a video because I lost my voice. Yeah, yeah. Finally getting it back. And uh, yeah, apart from subtitles or I don't know, some sort of speech bubbles or yeah, some sign language, language. Yeah. we thought we just mix. Wait see if Matt got better. Yeah, so we're did, good. So. so here we are. And uh, what we decided is that we're just going to give you a little bit of a mundane day. That we're going to change oil on the 32 Ford, explain a little bit of the uh, braking system. Yeah, yeah, mechanical brakes. That yeah. give everybody get a kick out of that. Also want to say thanks to all the patrons who signed up. Oh, we, for sure, yeah. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and, and all, all the people that like and, and subscribe and share. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to be posting some more. On Patreon, we're going to do some Patreon-only stuff. Not sure what that's gonna look like yet, but yeah. it'll look like something. Yeah, yeah, it'll show up. We'll see you in the shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the other interesting uh, automobile. Um, we thought, why the heck not change some oil? So, we'll bring you along on the adventure. All right, well, let's get Good. to it. Let's get to it, yeah. Well, we did a whole bunch of work to this car. We did uh, rebuilt the mechanical brakes, king pins, uh, spring bushings, steering box. motor mounts. Yeah, steering box. That equalizer, the center, what runs the mechanical brakes, which uh, we may do a little uh, featurette on these uh, mechanical brakes that get a bad rap, but they're uh, they're my favorite. And every car that I have that had them originally still has them. So. No, you haven't converted any hydraulics no over? No hydraulics. <laughs> uh, but uh, this customer car, he wanted to keep them, so we did them. And, uh, but we fit, we'd take you along on a nice little uh, easy going uh, Thursday here and take yeah. some oil. So let's do it. That's a good plug that they should kind of whistle right out of there. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is high volume, high flow oil. Ooh, that's yeah. like gassy oil too. Yeah. Well, look at that come out of there in a hurry, huh? <laughs> look at that, like water. Yeah, no, that's... That's why we're changing the one? Oh yeah. Should mention that this car has a flathead V8 in it too. It's a later model one. Nothing on the old magnet here. Oh, good. Nice and clean. Yep. Give her a swift of brakes. Yeah, not just for brakes. Yeah. And we're going to put straight 30 weight in it again. Yeah, and all these old things like that dinosaur juice. Give it a bit of uh, an ink additive and good for another. 2,000 miles. <laughs> the old containment unit here, is there any uh, badging or anything on it? Or? Uh, no, I don't think so, not on this oh, one. Okay. Just kind of an oil catcher. Maybe a Graco or something. Oh yeah. It was in the shop here, this one. Kind of a neat unit, you just, it just takes all the oil and then we, uh, it's got a little dipstick here. When it gets full, which is getting there, we take it in and recycle it. Yeah, turn back into more, more, more motor oil or who knows? Repackage it and sell it to the customers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> These oil changes on these old cars with no oil filters are super easy. Now Jim can go topside and dump the good juice in it. Yeah, hey, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, we might as well bring her back down to terra firma here. Perfect. Got our oil here, jug, funnel, good and clean. And yeah, it's back here. Open our little cap. 
insert our funnel. And decided we want to go on top or below this bar here. We'll start below. And build up the courage. Yeah, no, we're gonna go on top. Uh, redirection. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's there exactly go. it. Oh, yeah. These 32 Fords, first car offered uh, with the V8, which is a general common man. However, this is not the correct 32 Ford V8. Those are exceedingly rare. <laughs>it looks so cool because there's so much going on rods and things and like a pre-war hot rod should have mechanical brakes because the hydraulic brakes didn't come out on Fords until 1939 so uh, you know we're just happy to do it so we relined these shoes we restored them a lot of this stuff was good we cleaned it up lubed everything the backs work like a if anybody is like familiar with heavy uh, heavy trucks the backs have like a cam they're like a they're like, like a an cam. Just like an S cam, yeah. So this is an old style truck air brake, wedge brakes. Yeah. And the S cam they still use. So the the uh, beautiful simplicity of mechanical genius in mechanical brakes that if these brakes get parked a hundred years from now, if it's not seized, these brakes will still work. You cannot say that about yeah. hydraulic brakes. Steel won't evaporate, yeah. yes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they get a bad rap, but I love them, and, and uh, like I said, on all my cars that had them, they have them still, and, and when they're adjusted, you can lock all four wheels up, and they're just a bit more maintenance and stuff like everything else was back then, but uh, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing a person can't do. Bring it on here again. Look at how much neat stuff is going on here. How cool is this, huh? Yeah, just linkages. And all right, here we are inside the cockpit of the machine, and we're going to show you this equalizer here, how they work. Well, you'll see when you step on the brakes... It pulls the rods. It's like yeah, a belt yeah. crank. And so it pulls that, on the left is that top, the back brakes. It pulls those forwards and the front bank brakes backwards. And what's really neat is that uh, you've got your 
park brake, your emergency, and your service brakes are the same kind of apparatus on this slider. So Matt's running the service brake there. Let's say if I pull the park brake, that just pulls this one. And so you can kind of run them independently. The only downside to these over even the early Model A that had a separate park brake shoe, these use the regular brake shoes. It just pulls the rods. So if, if they're out of adjustment, the emergency brake don't do nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's no extra brakes. There's no brakes at all. You have yeah. no brakes, you have no brakes. Yeah. But the beautiful part about uh, mechanical brakes is that it always feels like there's brakes. There's always tension. So even if you have no brakes, you can drive around with confidence. <laughs> it's not like a... A lot uh, of people nowadays drive like that. <laughs> not like a hydraulic brake where it just whoosh, down to the floor. <laughs> These never do that. So, But no, and uh, that's how it's done on 1932 Fords. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, see if she fires up. Fired up after our oil change here. Ignition. Out of gear.